welcome back to my channel. I'm Grace on tour and I love to showcase the beautiful world that we live in. And in this video, we will be exploring Tai U's on Lantau Island. We've made it uh, now to Tai U, uh, which is the one of the westernmost uh, villages of Hong Kong. Uh, it's also very close to the airport island, so you can also see the airplanes taking off and landing. I just arrived, it's uh, a small, very quaint uh, fishing village, uh, and I can already feel the, the calm of the village. Uh, there's not a lot of people at all. Uh, so yeah, uh, remember to like and subscribe, and uh, let's uh, check out Tai Yu. now walking on the Tai U promenade and uh, just good to know is that Tai U actually means large inlet and it's referring to the outlet of the waterways Tai U Creek and Tai U River which uh, merges as it moves through Tai U uh, and uh, yeah this pathway uh, comes or divides the sea from this uh, lake uh, or river so yeah it's really really nice walkway. It is now lunchtime and I've made it to a place called Koi Wang Vegetarian Restaurant and uh, it's just at the end of the walkway and uh, I have ordered a um, tofu stir fry with uh, rice uh, and yeah it's a traditional style restaurant uh, where they come in with uh, boiling water to clean your um, cutlery uh, or chopsticks um, so yeah let's uh, try this. So I was in the last minute able to catch uh, one of the small boat tours that goes around Tai U and uh, one of the things that is uh, quite famous here is uh, to spot the uh, white nose bottle dolphins or pink nose bottle dolphins and uh, I know that usually uh, the case is that you don't see them but I think it's nice to either way take uh, the little boat tour just to see Tai U uh, more and uh, yeah the boat tour is uh, 50 Hong Kong dollars um, so yeah. boat trip was quite short I think it's definitely worth it because we got to see some uh, of the main sites like the Tai U uh, Heritage Hotel and also the General's Rock and we got to see the Hong Kong Chu Hai Macau Bridge uh, which actually is uh, it's a bridge tunnel system and it is uh, both the longest sea crossing and the longest open sea fix link in the world <laughs> and it was actually finalized in at the end of 2018 so it's relatively new as well uh, so yeah i think definitely worth it for only 50 hong kong dollars uh, and uh, yeah now we're going to head towards a lookout point and a temple so let's go la, 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 la. La, 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 la. catch you on the flip side maybe we can be friends when you're not so fragile you know yourself well Somewhere down the sweet line When I do things for me Cause I don't wanna be Be a therapy I wanna be free so. We've now made it to a cafe called Solo And uh, we have a uh, lemon ginger drink And a uh, tofu cheesecake And what is nice with this cafe Is that it's located just uh, by what they call Little Venice of uh, Tai U uh, So you can also see the boats uh, going uh, back and forwards uh, So yeah, really nice spot I 
back home after a wonderful day in Tai U and I just wanted to uh, finish off the video and tell you that if you go there do remember to bring cash um, or withdraw cash at the ATM there because most places do not accept octopus or credit cards um, so yeah just be um, noticed on that and also it is quite far um, it takes an hour on the bus from Tung Chung metro station uh, which is like the end of the orange line so if you're traveling from the city it does take some time to get there just so you are aware of it so it will most likely be a day trip thing that you do um, because it does take a significant amount of time to get there and come back uh, so just be aware of that as well yeah, so I'm going to finish off the video here for today. Thank you so much for coming along. Remember to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.